And joining us on the ward now to discuss this is a professor of international relations and strategic studies, um, David Awarawa. Good to have you join us. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, bearing in mind that we haven't seen a major attack from Al-Shabaab in, in Mogadishu in a while, um, when you look at this particular attack on Hyatt Hotel, what do you think the motive was? Well, um, the motive is clear. The motive is to uh, send uh, a message to the government and, uh, you know, the people of Somalia that uh, uh, Al-Shabaab is still very much alive, very much active, and that its objective of uh, trying to overthrow the government to establish uh, its own government based on uh, Sharia is still very much alive. Recall that uh, a new president was just installed in May, and uh, since then, nobody uh, hasn't uh, experienced any major terrorist attack like this one. So uh, the attack was just to send a message that uh, to overthrow the government and uh, establish its own, I see very much uh, active. That is basically the, 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 the mm. import of the attack. And during campaign, one of the things that President, and that's the new president who was elected in May, uh, President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed had said was that he, the ending insurgency was um, a priority for his government. He's still trying, I mean, this is a transition period. He's still trying to put together um, a government. Do you think that perhaps that was um, something that the Al Shabaab Al saw as an opportunity um, whilst the government is not settled yet, um, as an opportunity for an attack? Yeah, partly so. Um, Al Shabaab, like uh, most uh, terrorist groups, who want to make a statement, who want to seize opportunity when they perceive that uh, the government is, uh, you know, uh, uh, not strong or the security uh, structure is not well uh, uh, properly established and coordinated. That is exactly what uh, the Al Shabaab, you know, have done. Uh, they also perhaps want to send a message that uh, the promise that uh, President uh, Hassan Mahmoud has, has made, uh, Mohammed has, has made, um, will not be fulfilled because uh, they are there to counter whatever uh, security measures that you put in place. But uh, on, on, to, to take the issue broadly, uh, I think th that attack actually signaled the uh, uh, unpreparedness on part of the security forces, or, or you know, lack of preparedness on part of the group. Because that hotel, the Hayat Hotel, uh, there were many prominent politicians there. And uh, when you look at the, 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 the trajectory of the operations of Al Shabaab over the years, they've always targeted hotels, targeted prominent buildings, targeted restaurants, and you know, uh, similar uh, uh, you know institutions or organizations. And so uh, a popular hotel like that, you know, for Al Shabaab to have been able to gain easy access, you know, to, to use grenade to uh, attack the place and then start shooting and killing so many people, 21 dead confirmed, um, it, is, 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 it, 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 it signals the lack of preparedness of the security forces. So there, there will need to be some, you know, rearrangement, restructuring, strengthening of the security forces to be able to, you know, uh, ensure that this kind of We can't seem to hear, um, mm -hmm. Professor. All right, Professor Awara, please go ahead. Um, we had a network challenge briefly. We couldn't hear you. Professor Awara, can you hear me now? All right, it seems to be a network oh. challenge. All right, we would um, try, and, and, and all right, Professor Aurora, just go ahead. So let me ask you, because we were, we were speaking to issues around security, um, we've heard so much about uh, the fact that there is no central command in, for security at, in, at the capital, um, Mogadishu, 
And that in itself is a challenge. But let's look at this attack and what it will, it will mean for the stability of the government of President um, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. Yes, the, the, the attack should actually, um, you know, provide a roadway, if you like, uh, to what Ashabab is still capable of doing on what Ashabab will do moving forward. Uh, rather than weaken the resolve of the government, it should actually, uh, you know, give uh, a, a direction, you know, uh, to the government as to what the government needs to do to ensure that these kind of attacks are not allowed to happen in, in Somalia. The hmm. central command that is not in place, all of that needs to be sorted out. And of course, um, these important uh, uh, buildings, areas, hotels, you know, the security around them leading towards all these places needs to be strengthened um, so that it is not after a siege has taken place that the security forces will not try to see how they can, you know, engage Ashabab uh, uh, militants and uh, try to uh, uh, maybe free those who have been held hostage. There should be a structure that will ensure that these kind of attacks are nipped in the bud before they happen, they are known. And of course, intelligence will also need to be expanded and strengthened such that uh, what Ashabab is planning, you know, can be uh, uh, detected early and measures are taken to prevent these kind of attacks. Remember, uh, Ashabab, they are not actually in Mogadishu as such, they're in the, uh, in the fringes of uh, uh, Mogadishu, they are, you know, they, they are in the suburbs. So it takes quite some time for them to move from where they are to Mogadishu, they are planning and execution. So if the government... But, and, and I just, well, sorry to jump in, because of the statement you just made, uh, because now, from the reports, um, uh, some of the reports I went through, they have an intelligence unit ca called Amniyat that seems to be everywhere, even uh, in the capital. They collect intelligence for um, the, 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 uh, the for the, the the part of the group that then con that then carries out the attack, and, and we understand that they are everywhere. Um, the U.S. State Department also also said that they because uh, they pledged allegiance to I think a in 2012, and the U.S. State Department said they are the largest. Um, the wealthiest and most lethal arm of Al Qaeda. We also understand that it collects as much as fifteen million dollars in taxes every month from um, from Somalia, and most of that comes from the capital Mogadishu. So one wonders how do you um, deal with um, deal with a, a group like that? And some are calling for uh, dialogue between the government and the leaders of Al Shabaab. But what do you think is the way out? The way out is that uh, government will need to, whatever government has done, whatever government has put in place uh, needs to be expanded, needs to be strengthened for greater effectiveness. As we can see, it has, it has been a while that Ashabab has carried out this kind of attack. And that owes a lot to the structure that exists, especially intelligence that is able to dictate what Ashabab is you know, about to do and security forces ensure that in attacks like this does not take place. It is that that needs to be expanded to be able to, you know, match all the uh, sophistication of the military, of the weaponry, and all of that that Ashabab has. That is what needs to happen. One other thing that needs to happen is that there needs to be regional cooperation to, to effectively tackle, you know, Ashabab and his uh, terrorist activities. As you have already pointed out, Ashabab is well firmly established, sophisticated worthy and so to be able to counter it you need something that is also equally robust so to complement what uh, somalia has uh, neighboring countries such as uh, uh, kenya such as uh, ethiopia the quarrel between somalia and ethiopia needs to end they need to come together and whatever you know disagreement they have to be able to you know focus on a common enemy which is the terrorist group so uh, the, the, the 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 high level of security of ashabab is not uh, does not mean that uh, when a government is determined to ensure that a task like this does not take place, that it cannot be achieved. What needs to be done is for the government to step up, you know, mm -hmm. so, so that the, 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 the president can fulfill the promise of uh, ensuring that uh, terrorist attacks are not allowed to happen in Somalia. Professor Awarao, it's always a pleasure to have your thoughts on issues like this. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks so very much.